Hello friends, in this video I'll tell you how to create view pager or slider screen with tabs in Android application. Let's create new project. Give a name to your application name. Click next. Next. Select this activity. Click on finish. So the project is starting. Now we go to activity main.xml file. text you can change this layout I'm setting it to linear layout we need to add orientation uh, so that we can arrange it in a horizontal or vertical way as we know we have to add tab layout and the view pager here For this tab layout, we need a library. So let's go and add this inside project structure. Click on app. Now click on dependencies. Click on plus symbol library. Uh, you search for design. This is here. Click OK. Click OK. This library will be added to your build.gradle app level. You can see uh, the error is displayed here. So to fix this error, let's go to our build.gradle file. Here you can see it's showing error in this design library. So the version we have given is different from 26.1.0. Showing error. So let's go back. Add 26 now we need to add 26.1.0 then click on sync now Now this is good. Close it. Now you can add tab layout. Give the width and height. write the id we can give tab mode as uh, fixed we can give it as scrollable when it's dynamic now add the view feature also give the width and height for view page You have to write the ID for view phaser. Now let's go back to our main activity. And write the variables for our view pager and tab layout. Now 
now find these two views from the layout using the id which we given and now we will be setting an adapter for our view pager Now we need to create an adapter class. So let's cr uh, click on our package, click new Java class, write a class name, anything. Now click OK. Our adapter class is created so we can write the adapter name here after creating this object now copy this value and pass it here same way for tab layout also now inside the fragment tab adapter let's extend it with fragment pager adapter now create uh, implement these methods you can press alt enter press alt enter again or click on the symbol and create this method This will be returning fragment. Uh, here you have to pass the get support fragment manager. Yeah. So this will return our fragment type for the position zero and position one and position two for our slider uh, screen. We will write the method. For position 0 we will return the first fragment i mean first screen which is foot fragment we don't have a fragment we will be creating it click new click on our uh, fragment we'll take a blank fragment we don't need any uh, extra methods so uncheck this boxes and you have to give a name to your fragment and have to click finish this fragment is created in the same way we need two more fragments in our app create new fragment blank fragment write any other name for this fragment similarly we don't need any methods here so uncheck these boxes and uh, we have to click finish wait for the project to sync
is we have to create one more uh, fragment same way we will be clicking on your fragments blank fragment write a name to your fragment uncheck the methods click on finish so finally we have all the three fragments you can see now wait for the project to sync now inside fragment adapter for another two position we will return another two fragments return new fragment and if the position is other than 0 or 1 return the third fragment Since we have just three screens, we can add or uh, count as three. We need one more method for setting the page title. For all those three positions, we'll, we will be setting the title different titles for all the three screens for position 0 set some title let's give it as food for case 1 let's return cloth clothing for another position let's return another value for default condition So this is done now inside all the three screen we need some view so let's go to our food fragment now find the layout for this food fragment it is inside res layout fragment food You can remove this text view and uh, add some images here to change the layout. Give the orientation. Add the image view. You can specify width and height. We need some images so let's copy the image and paste it into a drawable folder in our android studio so just copy it go back click on drawable right click click paste click ok ok Our images are copied here. Now you can give the name of your image. So the image is showing. You can add multiple images here by just copying it. 
uh, for simplicity i have already uh, added three images in a single image view similarly we will be adding the images in the other three layouts also give orientation uh, change the name of your image you can see uh, the image view is loaded in the another fragment layout and remove this text view and add an image here you can give it as a linear layout and orientation as a vertical write the name of your image now it is done you can run the app and check you can see we have three screens you can slide it it is also changing our tabs you can also tap on these tabs to slide Now let's change this horizontal line which is in the tab. We can change it to blue so that it can match our app color. For that we go back and uh, search for values folder. Inside color.xml I'm changing the color accent for app change it to any color click choose yeah this one click choose run it again you can see the view page is fine you can slide it Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.